uh, Novitsky on the left, Pesquet in the middle, and Whitson on the right. Uh, they posed for final pictures, a final opportunity uh, for some hugs and farewells, wishing uh, Novitsky and Pesquet a soft landing on the step of Kazakhstan. Again, this occurring just uh, before 2.30 a.m. Central Time today, after which Novitsky and Pesquet made their way into uh, the hatchway of the Soyuz MS-03 uh, spacecraft right behind them. And uh, there you see a final inspection of that hatchway that was made by Fyodor Yurchikin, the new station commander, as uh, Novitsky and Pesquet began the procedures uh, to close the hatch, to uh, conduct leak checks, uh, to make sure that we have a, a tight seal at the docking interface uh, between the Soyuz and the Rosviet module at the Earth-facing port of uh, the International Space Station's Russian segment. At 2.31 a.m. Central Time, the Soyuz hatch swung shut. Just about a minute later, the Rosviet module hatch was closed, and uh, the two crew members in the Soyuz, Novitsky and Pesquet, began uh, the work for their pre-undocking preparations. We confirm that mechanical connection is no longer illuminated. Standing by for physical separation. And we confirm separation. We see that the message SSVP, or docking and internal transfer system mode, has been completed. We can Over the border between Mongolia and China, the Soyuz MSO-3 now has undocked from the International Space Station. Expedition 51 officially over. Expedition 52 has officially begun. The timer is running. Copy. We are moving on to... Undocking occurring right on time at uh, 5.47 a.m. Central Time. Again, the undocking occurring on time as the International Space Station passed over the border between Mongolia and China. Where is the bell to mark the departure? In two minutes, you're going to have the first burn copy and affirmative. Novitsky and Pesquet have begun the journey home. We'll be standing by for the first of two separation burns. This will be an automated eight-second burn of uh, the uh, Soyuz engines. The image is very clear. That's right. It's uh, on the camera. That's the beam module. That's right. 30. Agreed. Less than a minute away from the first of two separation burns that will uh, increase the opening rate of the Soyuz from the International Space Station. That's right. This view now uh, from the Soyuz as it backs away from the station through Russian ground stations. Activation, affirmative. Five seconds. We confirm depot of thrusters, gear four command. The uh, first of two separation burns now underway. Again, a quick eight second burn that uh, increases uh, the opening rate of the Soyuz by 0.54 meters per second. 
And this first uh, separation burn is complete and uh, was reported to be good. The second of the two burns is about a minute and 20 seconds from now, and that'll be a slightly longer burn of 15 seconds in duration. Going on nominally as well. Yes, We confirm that the maneuver is complete. Copy. And we are turning 15 seconds into the burn. And the burn is complete. Everything went well with both of the uh, separation burns for the Soyuz vehicle. It also uh, has completed its maneuver as it moves uh, further and further away from the International Space Station. Undocking occurring just a few minutes ago at 5.47 a.m. Central Time. That uh, the voice uh, of an interpreter uh, Good luck to you, to you guys. reporting uh, what uh, Russian flight controllers are saying to the crew on board the Soyuz MS-03 that you see there, uh, fading further and further away from view as it continues to separate from the International Space Station following its undocking nine minutes ago. No, I'm just saying good luck, guys. Safe landing. This is Fyodor speaking. To you and to Tamar. Fyodor, thank you so much. We'll see you soon. See you on the ground. Well, let's just say your departure was just a beauty. That's good to know. <laughs> 